Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In the last video, we studied PIC development tools. In today video I will show you. The basic of C language. Let's start the video. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. And click on the bell icon. C language. C is probably the most widely known programming language. C is a general purpose programming language that is extremely popular, simple and flexible. It is machine independent, structured programming language which is used extensively in various applications. C is a structured programming language in which program is divided into various modules. Each module can be written separately and together it forms a single C program. This structure makes it easy for testing, maintaining and debugging processes. Structure of C language C program basically consists of the following parts. Preprocessor commands Function Parameters Function body Comments Hashtag include angular bracket studio dot h angular bracket int main slash slash main function From this bracket to that bracket is the body of function int max comma number one comma number two semicolon define variable slash slash define variable is comments number one equals one hundred number two equals two hundred assign value max equals number one plus number two adding numbers max return it will return the result value preprocessor commands Hashtag include studio.h is called a preprocessor command. Preprocessor commands are identified by the hashtag at the beginning of the line. In this case, hashtag include tells the preprocessor to open the file studio.h and read it into the program to be compiled with the remainder of the program. Function. The next line int main is the main function where the program execution begins. A function is a group of statements that together perform a task. Every C program has at least one function, which is main. Parameters A parameter is like a placeholder. When a function is invoked, you pass a value to the parameter. This value is referred to as actual parameter or argument. Parameters are optional, that is, a function may contain no parameters function body the function body contains a collection of statements that define what the function does comments comments are part of the program used to clarify the operation of the program or provide more information about it comments are ignored and not compiled into executable code by the compiler variable any number changing its value during program operation is called a variable simply if the program adds two numbers number one and number two in this case number one number two and some are variables declaring variables variable name can include any of the alphabetical characters a to z the digits zero to nine and the underscore character the compiler is case sensitive and differentiates between capital and small letters function and variable names usually contain lowercase characters while constant names contain uppercase characters. Variable names must not start with a digit. Conditional statements. Conditional statements in C programming are used to make decisions based on the conditions. Conditional statements execute sequentially when there is no condition around the statements. If you put some condition for a block of statements, the execution flow may change based on the result evaluated by the condition. In C programming conditional statements are possible with the help of the following two statement. 1. If statement. 2. If else statement. If statement. If statement is responsible for modifying the flow of execution of a program. If statement is always used with a condition. The condition is evaluated first before executing any statement inside the body of if. The syntax for if statement is as follows. If, condition, instruction. You can see in the block diagram. If statement star. 
If condition true then execute code. If condition not true then exit from loop. If else statement. The if else statement is an extended version of if. In this type of a construct, if the value of test expression is true, then the true block of statements will be executed. If the value of test expression is false, then the false block of statements will be executed. The general form of if else is as follows. If condition true. Execute block of statements. Else condition false. Execute block of statements. You can see in the block diagram. If statement star. If condition true block of statements will be executed. If condition false then the false block of statements will be executed. Switch statement. Switch statement in C tests the value of a variable and compares it with multiple cases. Once the case match is found, a block of statements associated with that particular case is executed. A general syntax of how switch case is implemented in a C program is as follows. Switch expression. Case value 1. Block 1. Break. Case value 2. Block 2. Break. Case value n. Block n. Break. You can see in the block diagram. Switch. Case 1 block of instruction 1. Case 2 block of instruction 2. Default case default block of instruction. If any case found then specific block of instruction are executed and break from the switch statement. Loops. A loop executes the sequence of statements many times until the stated condition becomes false. A loop consists of two parts, a body of a loop and a control statement. The control statement is a combination of some conditions that direct the body of the loop to execute until the specified condition becomes false. The purpose of the loop is to repeat the same code a number of times. You can see in the block diagram. Start loop. Condition true execute block of code. If condition false exit from the loop. Types of loops. Depending upon the position of a control statement in a program, a loop is classified in following types. While loop. Do while loop. For loop. While loops. A while loop is the most straightforward looping structure. The basic format of while loop is as follows. While. Condition. Statements. It is an entry controlled loop. In while loop, a condition is evaluated before processing a body of the loop. If a condition is true then and only then the body of a loop is executed. After the body of a loop is executed then control again goes back at the beginning, and the condition is checked if it is true, the same process is executed until the condition becomes false. Once the condition becomes false, the control goes out of the loop. Do while loops. A do while loop is similar to the while loop except that the condition is always executed after the body of a loop. It is also called an exit controlled loop. Do. Statements. While. Expression. In the do while loop, the body of a loop is always executed at least once. After the body is executed, then it checks the condition. If the condition is true, then it will again execute the body of a loop otherwise control is transferred out of the loop. For loops. A for loop is a more efficient loop structure in C programming. The general structure of for loop is as follows. For initial value. Condition. Increment or decrement. Statements. The initial value of for loop is performed only once. The condition is a boolean expression that tests and compares the counter to a fixed value after each iteration, stopping the for loop when false is returned. The increment decrement increases, or decreases, the counter by a set value. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. And Keep watching Star Technology 5G.